card number 35 card number 35 ballots and bullets ballots and bullets Ballots and bullets. Want to guess who that is? Want to guess who that is? I got a feeling that's Nixon. Is it Nixon? Or is it Lyndon Johnson? Lyndon Johnson. I thought they might bring in Nixon at some point. Lyndon Johnson. And if I recall correctly, he was uh, sworn in on a plane, right? With Jackie beside him with a little winking going on. Was it on a plane? Wow, how brilliant that is. Look at that. Let's look at the text. Let's look at the text. Let's see what we got. Lyndon Johnson, Lyndon Johnson, paragraphs insane, ballots, the two scandals, Johnson, yeah, yeah, legislator, yeah, let's see, there's a paragraph break here, CIA, huh, second I think that paragraph within hours okay this last paragraph seems a little different it ends the same but I think they're a little different we're gonna read the revised version gang let's read the revised version important Card number 35, Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon Johnson's political career was mired with corruption. In 1948, he got a local official to uh, certify 200 fake ballots, literally stealing the election to become U.S. Senator by 87 votes. In 1949, a TV newsman investigating Texas vote fraud was killed. In 1952, his assassin was found hanging in his jail cell after he offered to reveal the location of the missing fraudulent ballots. Two scandals rocked Johnson's vice president presidency. First was his link with Texas Wheeler dealer Billy Sol Este, who collected millions in federal agriculture subsidies for non-existent cotton farms. In 1985, Estate testified that Johnson had ordered the death of Henry Marshall, who had been investigating the scam. Then came the exposure of ties between Johnson A. Bobby Baker and Irving Davidson, the Mer Merchantsons, the Teamsters, and Carlos Marcello. Marcello. It was alleged that during the 1950s, Johnson Johnson received $500,000 in cash from Marcello, Marcello's racing wire, uh, racing wire and slot machine profits in return for killing anti-racketeering legislation. Johnson's longtime mistress, Madeline Brown, claimed he told her Kennedy's death was, quote, ordered by American oil men and the CIA end quote and he knew of it in advance his abrupt reversal of Kennedy's plan to bring America's Americans back from Vietnam has fueled speculation about his uh, complicity complicity 
in CIA military intelligence plot. Within hours of becoming president, Johnson made Texas officials halt his halt their inquiries and turn all evidence over to the FBI. As if to return the favor, J. Edgar Hoover promptly stopped FBI participation in Attorney General Kennedy's probe of Baker's mob ties. In January 1964, Johnson made Hoover FBI director for life. Later, his executive order 1162 locked all assassination evidence in the National Archives until the year 2039. Wow. Wow. Absolutely effing wow. Wow.